So one line is driven Andre Rublev defacing off in the first round of Rolling Garros now Struff. He's had an up and down. You see there's some tournaments he's done well, some others he didn't do well. He was able to make that his first 12 level final in Munich. He lost to Brazil that's really in straight sets, but still that was impressive from him. He had never reached a 12 level final in finally at like 30, 31 years old he was able to do that so that was impressive from him he also made the semis at the atp cup so he is showing some signs of good form and he took a set of rublev also in that so some signs of good form there for struff he however in some other tournaments he fell early like in he lost to tommy paul last week in the pharma open and he had to go three sets against the wild card so not such a good Encouraging sign for him now. Rublev has been pretty good on clay this year as well. He's had some superb form. He continued his ma Masters, or sorry, his ATP 500 streak by reaching the semi, the by winning Rotterdam as well. He did. He he didn't lose early in Dubai. He lost in the semis, but that's still a good run. And in Doha, he lost in the semis as well. In Miami, he lost in the semis, and then Monte Carlo lost in the final. So. He made a Masters 1000 final for the first time, which was impressive. He also reached the quarterfinals of Barcelona as well. So he is showing that he's in some good form. And when he's in good form, he can definitely do well. We'll see if he can carry that here. Now, these two players that are playing, they've met on a lot of occasions. They met three times officially in Rublev at least 2-1. They met twice this year in Rublev won both of those encounters. Both of them in three sets. And... In the, and in the challenger events, Rublev won each one. So in the qualifying event in Rolling Garros, Struff won that one in straight sets. In a, a challenger event in America, Rublev won that one in straight sets. So my prediction, I think that Rublev will win it in three sets. I think that because Rublev is just the better player. The two, but I think that Struff can take a set because he has in a lot of the previous meetings. All the meetings this year they've played. It's been three sets, so I'm going to pick Rublev to win it in a three-set match because all their meetings this year have been three sets. And I think that Struff can take a set again since Rublev may not know the conditions yet. So, or sorry, no. I think it's going to be Rublev in four sets, sorry, because this is their first meeting at a Grand Slayer. I, 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 I totally forgot the system. So I'm going to pick Rublev in four sets because this is their first meeting at a Grand Slayer. This is best of five, so Rublev in four sets is my prediction. So Schwartzman and Lude are facing off in the first round of Rolling Garros. Schwartzman has not been in great form this year. Schwartzman has lost early at a bunch of clay court tournaments. He lost to Gasquet in Lyon. In Rome, he lost to Ojale Sim. And he lost to Karatsev in Madrid. And he also lost to Rudy Monte Carlo. So he's not showing us that incredible form he had at the end of 2020. So the question will be, can he get back that incredible form? Can he get back? His incredible form from late 2020 where he defeated Rafa in Rome and made the semis of Roland Garros. Because he does have semi-final points to defend from last year. So you're going to see whether he can do well in that. Now his opponent also hasn't, he hasn't played a whole lot as opponent. And he hasn't really been in good form. He only won a match in Miami against Query, but he lost to Lou in, sorry, he lost to Medvedev in straight sets. And he hasn't really played a lot on the clay. He hasn't played at all on the clay this year, so... He's going to really be lacking of match practice. He hasn't really played since March last. So it's going to be something that we're going to have to consider. Because he hasn't played a lot. Now, they've never met before. So they have. Actually, no. They have met before. They met once. And Lou won that one in straight sets in a hard court in 2016. But that was in 2016. I think that Schwartzman will win this in straight sets. That's my prediction. I think because Lou hasn't really had much practice on the clay. While Schwartzman hasn't really been in great form and he's undoubtedly not showing us that 2020 form. I think that Lou is just not played at, on the clay at all this year. While Schwartzman has actually played on it and he's had some he's had some signs of life this year. So I'm going to pick Schwartzman to win this in straight sets.